growth rate wouldn't be a bad idea considering some of the yeah although we are going through I would say growth rate is better with tradition because it stacks better um, I'll get a little bit of growth rate out of this since we're not going that and um, I'll be able to kind of keep up with some of that original basis uh, you know what we're probably gonna go through and take cities for our, our expansions so I'm going to go ahead and start building honor. So I want to get that early general before we go to war. Kind of all over the place, like I say. Um, I don't, I'm not always the best at like, okay, this is what we want to do. And then I'm going to stick with it. A lot of times I kind of zig and zag and kind of move around that way. Um, okay, so we're getting extra growth through Ragusa. Like I said as well, I don't always pay attention to the fact that I don't remember why we're friends with him. <laughs> We've done something. I would assume something to do with barbarians. You know, it's... I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep that for now. Uh, that's a lot of production and a lot of gold. Um, if we go ahead and actually ally with Ragusa, which we probably could. We could eventually buy him out pretty easily. Let's also go... Ooh, I do like composites. 11 and 7. 7 and 5. What do we have? Okay, they're on mountains. Which is kind of a bit... Hills, technically, but... Same difference. Okay. He has horsies. You know what? Let's go... F yeah. I'll go with that. Still no great library, huh? All right. Let's go over here and help out with the barbs. We'll actually have culture. We have honor, finally, unlike last Let's Play when I didn't realize I wasn't getting culture from him because I'm an idiot. Um... Actually, we might have seen a natural wonder. I can't rep with that. But, anywho. Just neither here nor there. And then also we can... Love these raging barbarians. So we can help out the city-states now. Especially since we're all cluttered together. There we go. Small little bonus. Boom, boom, booms. Please continue, sir. Go. Do, 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 do. Promote a unit. Now run away with this unit. Oh, shite. Valletta, attack! Attack! All kinds of not good. Ah. Great library, Wu Zetian. It's not necessarily great for me. For her not to have that, but you know, hey. Could have gone over with the archer and probably killed him too, but I doubt he'll probably stick around. And I, in the same extent, would like um, them to get the experience off it instead. Barracks. Barracks isn't a bad idea. Wow, really? Another city already. <sighs> Barracks wouldn't be a bad idea. But in that same extent, I can make multiple units by that time. So let's do that. Okay, we should be okay there. Stonehenge with Catherine. The nice thing about having some of these embassies is I can figure out who builds what to some extent. Uh, okay, they, it looks like they may have taken care. Oh, no. This has extra gold. Uh, they may have taken care of the barbs that were plaguing me. Also, get out of the way. Ah, 
Ouch. That's going to be a pain. So, yep, as as normal, he's going to go uh, and be a warmonger, which is okay. It's not the worst thing that could possibly happen. It's kind of a pain in the ass because we'll eventually go into early war, but I'm going to try and gear up for that so we don't get caught unawares. And if we can help out one of these city-states with this, um, I'll eventually buy them out, which will work out quite well for us as well. Go! Hanging Gardens isn't a bad call either. It's always great for growth. Uh, free Garden's nice too, especially since it's an early garden. Um, it will help out with um, great person generation. Okay, almost. Ooh, and we can pick up a free worker, which I'll probably actually take. Um, I don't think it gives a whole lot of bonuses rep-wise to whoever we give it back to. It, it gives a little bit, but it's not amazing. Okay, Tyler, we're really helping out. It's good. Iron working still a little far away. Um, I'm going to go construction once again for the kind of the early war bonuses. Even though plantations are definitely something we need. And I'm going to get vision down here so he doesn't try and sneak a city. Even though I th think... I don't think he can fit a city down here. We actually creating another city wouldn't be a bad idea for us. Yeah, we can work together. Working. Yep. Okay, not too shabby. Right, let's do that. And you know, we don't really need the worker quite yet, so we'll keep farming reputation through tire and um, culture as well. Just to really make sure they don't try and pull something. Sorry. What the uh, he wants to fight Nebuchadnezzar. If he goes to war with Nebuchadnezzar, I'll probably go in and attack him. Water mill. Uh, I don't think that's what I wanted to build, but we'll we'll go ahead and build it. Sure, why not? Um, thir 60 plus a turn, 7 plus 13 a turn. So we're doing roughly the best out of everybody when it comes to Drastly. that. Copper, 183. And I'm, I guess we could probably get probably one a turn, but... Okay. That's another thing that I learned last time too is you don't always have to offer them everything that they want. You can kind of sneak it a little bit. You can just uh, they like, oh no, we'd prefer you to give us this cruddy little resource. You're like, mm, no. And they're like, okay, you know what? You're right. We were wrong. You're like, you are wrong, you jerks. Alright, we are now easily allied with Tyre. And eventually, we can diplomatic marriage them. So we can spend 510 gold, which is very easy, and to acquire the city-state through diplomatic marriage, making it all, uh, making it and all of its units part of your empire. This will not incur the diplomatic penalties or the unhappiness penalties of conquering the city-state. The bonuses and United Nations votes you receive from friendships with the city-state, however, will be lost. Okay, so uh, bonuses like the extra... Um, for Tyre, it would give us extra happiness. But we have... I think we get the jewelry from them, even though that's not a normal resource. I don't know. This this is going to be a interesting... Don't you dare take them. Fuck off, yeah, sure, why not? So we pretty much have the whole jewelry connection to Vatican City. Awesome. Ooh, we are, we are doing some early love with all our different city-states. You know what? Screw you. Mine. Uh, Cape Town. Do we want to ally ourselves with Cape Town for a worker? You know what? Sure. So that should give us some of that. And they'll give us a little bit more growth. Which I don't really care about as much. But maybe we'll be able to pick up Cape Town as well. Really cementing that back area. So let's go explore a little bit. Iroquois are spreading way up there. Yeah. 
they're definitely going to be going to war with Babylon. Um, science, Temple of Artemis. Vatican City no longer needs Artemis. Might as well do a diplomatic marriage with him, I guess. Okay, so we took the worker. Man, I am really off today. That's like the second time this in this like 10, 15 minutes of this Let's Play that I've said, all right, we're going to do this, and I accidentally clicked the other one, I think. I've at least done it once. <laughs> I don't remember. I swear, my, my mind, luckily, is not always needed for Let's Playing and YouTubing. So I would be screwed if it was. You know what, let's... Let's head back. I know a lot of you guys really like me to explore a lot, but I want to start getting ready for the upcoming fun, if you will. Okay, religion's founded. Our water mill's already going to be done in a few more turns. I would have really preferred to have had the barracks done, but... For some reason, I clicked water mill, so we'll leave it at that. Even more production. Very excellent. There, there. Plantation eventually. So, wheat. You know, you can do that, and you can go here. Um, you know what? Let's bring you around here. Let's kind of get an idea of what's going on. We may need to open borders with the Iroquois, which I'd prefer not to do since I'm probably going to attack them. But opening borders, I'd be able to go in and take a look at what's going on. Gold from Tyre. Okay, cool. Okay, there's Russia. Venice is looking for assistance against Rome. Okay, six turns. Let's get this done, and then we'll start building. So little wonks in the order of building stuff, but... Once again, that is something that I tend to do. All right. Um, probably start heading back pretty soon. Swordsman. If I can get swordsman, that would be pretty awesome. Um... Yeah, growth's always pretty good. Uh, even though we do have some good growth tiles, I think we have decent production as well. And then I'm going to be taking these cities over, which have really good production. So, Tire. Diplomatic marriage. So... I guess the bonus is that I will have them pretty much forever, and then I can tell them what to do. You know, I can actually say, okay, I want to build this, and I want to build that. It doesn't seem like the greatest thing ever. But then I just have control over what they're going to build, which is always good. Be able to get a composite bowman. Let's maybe let them build one more unit or something. I don't, know, I don't know how I want to do this yet. Once again, never having used diplomatic marriage before at all, I'm not quite sure how I want to run this. Also, a little happy little music there. Huh? Well, if I if I end up buying them, I won't be able to ally myself with them. We could though. We could ally ourselves with Vatican City, which would allow us to put pressure on them. I think they'd be better to ally with over Cape Town, even though Cape Town I have more rep with, uh, because I would like to have the Iroquois distracted. Plus, this way I can see what they're doing a little bit more. Um, is there any real way? We could try and get around. No. Especially we're going to have to do that. Uh, so we could always even pick up Vatican City. 
as a city. It's not bad. Decent protection. You have wine. Um, and then I could even pick up and snipe our wonder here. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have the money for it right now, so it's going to be put on hold. But China has denounced Rome. Okay, so they don't like us. That's fine. Okay. The Iroquois right now are the ones I want to deal with. Um, I do nothing for a turn. What are you doing? I need to attack soon. I should have already attacked, to be honest, but... Uh, discuss... Trade. Open borders. We don't oh. have civil service yet. Bloody hell. Just forget about that. Budapest attacked by China. I wonder what happens if we ally with them and then um, diplomatically marry them. Interesting. Bunch of interesting things that I've never thought about before. Man, they, they're just not picking up a whole lot of stuff. I want to go for war, though. I need to start building this army up. It's been way overdue. Calendar we need to. Um, you know what? We're eventually going to do that. Let's get out a couple catapults. Should have probably also farmed up more experience with the barbarians, but unfortunately the Iroquois showed up with their scouts, so I didn't have time. Trespassing in Prague. Yep, no. They're not getting out of my way, though. So I kind of can't do anything about it. Well, I'll keep sitting here until they'll allow me to get through. Uh, Budapest request units. Wow, another output of work. That's actually a pretty good one. Come on, get out of the way. Okay, kind of. I kind of was gonna go for a nice. Uh, where is Venice? Ooh, Venice is going down, buddy. Could go that way. Um, I kind of wanted to have attacked the Iroquois by now and taken a city, hence I haven't expanded. Um, so that's kind of I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot um, this early game, which is unfortunate. Marriage for 550. Must be allied for five turns. We've been for seven turns, but since we don't have the gold, uh, they won't allow us to marry them quite yet. Yay! Catapults. Um, they're all on hills. Their cities are at least. Budapest no longer at war. All right. So I'm guessing they survived the war. Uh, Iroquois, if you want to declare war on one of the city states to get your ass beat in, that's perfectly fine with me. Probably here is where we'd want to attack. Keep building. Three and one, three and one. Three tiles right now. get probably a few more units and then we can go and attack especially with them going this much further the longer I wait the more they're pushing this way the easier I can swoop in I'll probably take you out 
as much as this would be kind of easier because we wouldn't have